Okay, today I just barely planted some snowball cauliflower in these peat pots. So they're 50 to 70 days to maturity, so we'll see. Well, let's check in and see how my cauliflower seeds are doing. Look at that. Look at that. They're, they're doing pretty good. See that? Look at that. They are sprouting. Well, let's check in on the cauliflower one more time and look at that. It has grown <laughs> pretty good. Look at that. Well, it's time to look at the uh, cauliflower that I planted here in my makeshift germination station here. So come on over here and let me show you here how it's going. It's going quite well. Okay, if you recall, I uh, planted these in the in this little pie tin right here and we put four or five seeds in there and as you can see you know they, they four or five there's more than that growing in each one of these so this really worked well now over here what I did was I took oh, one or two or three of these and I separated them out and planted them individually over here in these uh, little uh, grow pots here now what the idea was is I would take these and plant them outside in the greenhouse. And that's what we're going to do today. And I hope they're uh, tall enough and big enough and healthy enough and vigorous enough that they're going to stand the transplantation. Okay, I took a bunch out of here and put them in here, 15 to be exact. And now we'll uh, walk up to the south greenhouse where we're going to plant them and we'll show you how, they, how we do that. Okay, let's go in here and see how things are. Now, now this is just a small greenhouse in here, and I've got a nice swamp cooler there. So because it faces south, I know I've probably told you this before, but because of the the small space, the uh, the square footage in here, that uh, swamp cooler does a pretty good job of keeping it cool in here. Here's our uh, uh, cauliflower. Now in here I've also, I've got some other brassicas. These I believe are Brussels sprouts. But as you can see, they're in here in these pots. And uh, I've got some on both sides, see? And uh, they're growing quite well. They like it in here. And uh, one thing I didn't mention, it's July the 15th right now. So we're kind of in the middle of summer and it's hot outside. And hope I'm hoping that these will make it through uh, to uh, October or November before we harvest them because they, they don't take that long to harvest. But anyway, here's what we're going to do. Like I said, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to put them in some pots. Oh, here's one that didn't work out. I mean, maybe I'll replace this one just to show you. Boy. Now, what we've got here is there's some trays here with water in them, okay? And the water is being uh, uh, pumped in here. It comes from a fish tank that's got some fish in it and it travels down here and it goes down there and it's got some same thing on this side okay and there's about an inch of water or so and that just keeps the bottom inch of uh, the uh, soil in the pot here nice and wet and uh, it's not muddy but it's nice and wet now so what we're going to do here is take this one that we just took the took the uh, sick uh, plant out of Go, uh, dig a little hole in there and we'll take one of these let's see let's try this one here and kind of dump him out here I'm going to do this one handed but you see the I thought I saw a root on here but I don't see it now but anyway and the idea is to put it put this in this hole here and then kind of cover it up and see if it'll take root and survive there okay now, what we've got, the intention here is to plant it, plant the ones I brought in here all up, up on top here. And as you can see, I've got a whole row of pots just for that purpose. So, what I'll do is I'll take another one of these. And, uh, oh man, I just pulled that one out. Out of the other one. Kind of gently roll it out of there. Okay, now... There we go, we'll, uh, we'll take this and put it right in here. Okay, kind of cover it back up with the soil. 
and we'll check back in and see how that's doing later on. Okay, there we are. We got all 15 of them planted. And if things go well, we should have 15 really nice heads of uh, cauliflower when this is all done. Now this will take three, maybe four months if things go right. Okay, so now we've got the rest of these. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, about ten of them. And I've got a place just for them. So hang on here and we'll go plant them somewhere else. Okay, so out we go into the greenhouse here. Open the door. Okay, so what we're going to do is put these right here. Now, I'm not sure what these two are. They might be uh, Brussels sprouts or something, but there are ten. Turns out there's only nine, actually. So there's ten slots here, and we've got the grapes up here. So this ought to provide a little bit of shade. So we're going to try this this year and see how well it does. So what we've got here is nine across the front, and oh, there's a couple of extra peat pot, grow pots. So we've got nine across the front, and we'll see how they grow. This ought to, I remember these are snow cap or snow crown, whatever, snow something cauliflower. So we'll see how they grow. They ought to do pretty good here. And what we've got, just so you know, is there's a swamp cooler right there, and it's where I'm standing. You can probably feel a little bit of the, hear a little bit of the uh, air rushing. So there, there's a little bit of cool air that gets over this. So this ought to do pretty well. Now it's the middle of July. It is July 16th, I think, right now. So we've got uh, November before this gets too cold in here. So this ought to do well. Well, if you remember about the middle of July, I think it was the 17th, we planted these, uh, their cauliflower, along here. I think I had nine of them. I count seven now. One, two, three, four. It looks like something got this when it was very tiny. But what I'm going to do is, I remember I planted these with the idea that maybe shade helps them or something. And the uh, grapes have grown a lot. So what, but what I'm going to do is move them over here to, to this uh, grow bed right over here. Because that seems to be where the cauliflower and stuff does best. So it's the, it's the uh, 16th of August today, so we're going to move them over there today. Okay, so there they are over here, and I put seven of them in there with that thick, uh, thick styrofoam. And hopefully they'll take off and do better here because it, it was just too much shade over there. They'll get sun nearly all day here, but it should be starting to cool down now, so down now, so these should start to do quite well. We'll see. Well, okay, here is the next day after we transplanted these... Uh, cauliflower plants. See, they're doing pretty good. They seem to like it in here. So, uh, let's hope that uh, they grow when we get some cauliflower off of them. Well, it's the 10th of September today, and this is a little update on those little cauliflower plants I moved over here. See, I moved seven of them, and there's still seven, and as you, well, maybe there's eight. <laughs> but anyway, they're doing pretty good. They're not growing that much. Now, we've had pretty intensive heat uh, because the summer has been really hot and I've been a hard I've had a hard time keeping the uh, the uh, greenhouse cool so we you know this that may be a factor of why they're not doing much better than they are oh. it is the 10th of September we probably have another couple of months in here before it starts getting freezy weather and so we still have time hopefully these these might recover and do all right well, here we are in my south greenhouse, and the sun's about going down, so it's nice in here. But if you remember a while back, I planted uh, some cauliflower in here. And remember, there was one down here that I planted, and I don't remember which one it was. But anyway, uh, who knows? Uh, maybe it was this one. didn't do too well. But anyway, if you remember the rest of them, I planted up here on top. Now let's take a look at these and see how well they did. There were 15 of them, as you recall. Let me stand up here and show you. And if you look down the line, 
you can see these are all doing really, really well. I don't see any uh, cauliflower heads in any of these yet, but it looks like it won't be long. Now, today's date is the, uh, I think it's the 10th of September, and these were plant transplanted out here in about uh, 16 or 18 of July. So you can calculate the months, but as you can see, that's what's happened to these so far, and I'll be able to keep this greenhouse going for at least another month, probably a little longer than that. So these ought to do quite well.